Welcome to the Husqvarna Viking Foot of the Month. And this month we are featuring the Hemmer feet. And there are three feet that are available. They are varied based on the size of fabric that you will be hemming. And the little scroll that's shown in the front of the foot, that's going to allow the fabric to turn two times for a nice finished edge. There's a two millimeter, a three millimeter, and a five millimeter Hemmer foot. And if you turn it over, you're going to notice there is a groove or channel on the back side indicating the finished size of the hem. Now you can do decorative stitches with this, you can insert lace, you could turn corners, there's a lot of things that when you just need to put a nice easy hem on a piece of fabric, this is a foot you want to reach for. And having all three of them in your collection allows for lightweight, medium, and heavyweight fabrics at any given time. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to start the hem. That's usually the question I get asked the most. To get the hem started, you want to start by turning your fabric edge two times, once and twice, as small as your fingers can actually turn it. And then we're going to put a pin in there to hold it in place. That's going to help uh, keep it so as I put it underneath the foot and sink the needle down into that fold, it's going to keep it where it needs to be. Now these pins that I use the most are the Clover quilting pins and then that's the fine amount and they are wonderful because they are so long and very very sharp. They're very fine so when you're poking through very fine fabrics you have no resistance whatsoever. Once you've tried these you'll never go back to any other pins and that's actually what you see on my magnetic pin cushion at any given time. That's all that's on it. So I'm going to lower down the presser foot and then I'm going to lower it down, touch it again so it's in the hover position and then I'm going to sink the needle down into the fold. That's when I can remove the pin and I can then take my fingers and bring that fabric up into the scroll of the foot. Once it's there, then what we want to do is kind of start to uh, be able to guide it. We want to guide it first with our right hand by kind of almost pinching the fabric to be vertical. Next, sometimes people will want to try to swish it over a little bit more. What you want to do is actually use your left index finger to help it ease it in or ease it out if you're getting too much or too little of the curve once you get started here. So I'm going to take a few stitches. And you're just going to kind of find a place that you're going to watch for getting the right amount of twist to the fabric. And once you've got it, you can really just go for it. By sampling your fabric that you're hemming a little bit, you'll kind of know how it's going to react. If you need to move the needle position to the right or to the left at all, usually with this foot I'm noticing I'm not having to. Just use the center needle position. And if you have some finer fabrics that you're working with, you might actually try using a straight stitch throat plate and that's going to prevent the fabric that might get pushed down into the opening because there's only a single hole. Of course, if you're using that, you need to make sure you're not moving the needle position to the right or to the left. So as we get going here, once you have it set, your foot is going to do all the work for you. If you're working on something circular, start off by basting along the raw edge about an eighth of an inch from the edge and that way it's going to help from this getting stretched out as it goes through the hemmer foot. If you're having any fabric that's giving you some difficulties getting it started, stitch a piece of water soluble stabilizer onto the end and use this as a runway. So you can go ahead, do your folds here, get it all going into the foot properly and by the time it reaches the fabric you'll be set to go. Try out some decorative stitches with the larger hemmer foot and use the stitch that as it stitches over the edge like an overlock stitch that it kind of makes the edge a little bit shelled. And to add a little lace to your project, work from the right side, add your lace right near where your hem is going to go about a quarter inch or so down from your edge and that will get encased while you're placing your hem.